What up, though? Welcome back to the Mike Check Podcast. This is T-Word, the People's Champ. Thanks for tuning in. Today, we're going to talk about the NFL playoffs and do a quick recap. And then later this week, we're going to preview the NFC and AFC championship games leading up to the 2023 Super Bowl. But before we get into that, don't forget to go ahead and subscribe, like the video. And once you're done watching the video, go ahead and leave your comment. We'd love to get your thoughts on these playoff games and what you think is going to happen on the way to the Super Bowl as we get down to the final four and we start to work our way to crown a new Super Bowl champion. Um, let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so we have football games on Saturday and Sunday. We're going to start with the Saturday slate. You may have caught some of this on the live stream, but we're going to do a full recap today. First off, you have the Chiefs and Jags on Saturday. Uh, the Chiefs did win 27 to 20. And basically, the Chiefs were just too much for the Jags. Despite Patrick Mahomes having to leave the game in the first quarter due to injury, the Chiefs defense and their offense collectively were able to stamp the game away and make it to where the Jags just didn't have any answers. This was a combination of better coaching as well as depth of talent at the various positions that matter the most, including down on the line, as well as at the skill positions. Um, I would say that the final score isn't indicative of the true flow of the game. The Chiefs really controlled the game. The Jags got a late score and then tried to get an onside kick. But there was about 20 seconds left when all of this happened. So the game was more or less out of reach for the last five minutes. I mean, if you take away that seven points, you're looking at 27 to 13. And it wasn't as close as that looks. Um, the Jags were thor thoroughly beaten and they've got something to build on for next season. But at the end of the day, they just weren't enough for an experienced team who's been there before. They weren't afraid of the bright lights and they did what they had to do. And that's the Chiefs. All right, next game was a blowout in Philadelphia. The Eagles beat the Giants 38 to seven to go ahead and sweep their division rival for the season. And people always say, it's hard to beat the teams three times in the season. It's really not. If you're the better team, you're going to beat them every time unless everybody on your roster seems to just not show up and have a good day. Uh, the Saints pulled it off a few years ago against the Panthers and the Eagles did it this year because they're just a significantly better team. Uh, defensively, they did everything they need to do. They got some players that got healthy at the right time and they were able to offensively put a stamp on the game and put it away early and then just cruise to the finish line with that final 38 to 7. Um, I'm not the biggest Jalen Hurts fan. I'll be honest with you. Um, I'm I'm not fooled by his game, I guess you can say. I'm not going to say that he's not a great player because he, he does his thing. I just think that he's a guy that absolutely has to be in the right system in order for it to work and be supported by a really strong run game, which Philly is. Um, and then he's got a great defense that's going to get him extra possession, something I addressed in the previous video that – if you have a defense that's going to get a lot of three and outs as well as turn the opposing team over, you're going to get an opportunity to get your offense into flow. And I think that happens a lot for Philly. And then he's even gotten an opportunity to rest where he had to take some time off due to injury. And I think that made a difference. Um, he's fresh going into the playoffs. So that's something that's important to pay attention to at this point in the season because he's not hitting that wall that a lot of players hit and when your quarterback can peak at the right time that's going to be really important for a deep run into the playoffs and on the way to the super bowl all right next up sunday games we had the buffalo bills and cincinnati Bengals and uh the afc divisional game and this was a game that didn't get finished um during the regular season they just called it a scratch through the injury to demar hamlin so this was a chance for everybody to figure out who might have won that game where it really doesn't matter by a score of 27 to 10, the Bengals showed that they were the more explosive team and that their defense could come up. Guys like Trey Hendrickson, Von Bell, and even Eli Apple proved to be too much for the Bills. And Josh Allen with Diggs, Stefan Diggs is a good player. But when you don't have a significant run game and then you're in the weather conditions that they were in in Buffalo, you know, it was snowy, it was cold, you know, there's a lot going on that tends to lean to the team that can actually run the ball and has the better defense i thought the uh, Bengals had the better defense and they have a run game that is consistent so you're not getting it in fits and spurts you're getting it on a regular basis which means that you can control the flow of the game you can pick it up and slow it down as needed and you can put yourself in the best position to win and i think that cincinnati was able to do so even on the road which makes that run game and that, that ability to ground and pound even more important and then the opportunistic defense really helps a lot. So um, shout out to them, everybody on that team, except Eli Apple. Next. <laughs> Cowboys went to go visit the 49ers in uh, San Francisco. 
and um in california and they did lose this game 19 to 12 and it was a lot to do with them having kicking issues as well as pollard going down and for the most part i expected dallas to be more explosive than the 49ers and i mean they scored 19 points that tells you this isn't the most explosive team in football so all you had to do is score 21. typically if you can get to 21 you can make great things happen for yourself and dallas just wasn't able to do it i don't think it was the road i feel like they're a team that has been to the playoffs um they kind of know what it looks like and i just don't understand they have an experienced coach who's who's been to the mountaintop so for them to be unprepared when they get into the postseason like this is really a head scratcher and it just makes me wonder it's not so much Dak, it's is a defense as good as they as good as they say and if you look at guys like Diggs, Diggs is feast or famine he's either intercepting the ball or he's getting roasted and i mean it's mostly getting roasted in my opinion um he's a guy that's giving up big plays because he is a risky person and you can't really have that as your foundation. You know, no risk and no biscuit isn't the best formula for success. And I feel like a lot of that has to do with Dallas defense. And then if you're not getting the extra possessions like we spoke about earlier, then your offense isn't getting in flow. And San Francisco has a damn good defense on top of that. So if you can't find the consistency on the ground, you can't get the extra possessions from your defense and you're not able to get going through the air what can you do you lose 19 to 12 so shout out to the san francisco 49ers and brock purdy who's really doing his thing for a guy who nobody saw coming he's doing exactly what's necessary and they've put the best tools around him with christian mccaffrey debo samuel uh brandon Ayuk, as well as george kittle in the solid offensive line you've got a team that can go deep and go into the super bowl with a good opportunity to win even though if it's the chiefs and niners right now i probably favor the chiefs um, I just think that they're too explosive and their defense is playing much better than the last time they made the Super Bowl. So on next Sunday and Saturday, you, well, next Sunday, you got a couple of matchups that are going to be important here. You're going to have the Chiefs and Bengals. That's going to be in Kansas City. And then you're going to have the Eagles and 49ers. And that's going to be in Philly. So two really good championship games. I'm going to hunker down in front of the TV, crack open a couple cold ones enjoy some wings and some nachos and hopefully we get some really great championship football and there's no blowouts it's really two competitive games we'd love to get your input let me know what you think down in the comments don't forget to like and subscribe this has been t-word people's champ until the next time i'm out peace